talk to you with soft wash systems and I'm going to tell you right now how to exactly mix up the CDC and WHO's recommended sanitizing solution for your home, for your office, for your facility or building that you have where you want to go ahead and treat and sanitize the surfaces. So I'm going to base this on one gallon and I've got one of our soft wash systems 128 ounce graduated cylinders here with 120 ounces of water. So I've got a little bit of room in here. Now, the CDC and WHO recommends that we mix up a 0.005% solution of sodium hypochlorite and water to sanitize surfaces against viruses and bacteria. That's right on the fact sheet they have published right now. So, what does that come out to math-wise? Well, I've already done the math for you. In a gallon here, we're going to put 120 ounces of water, and we're going to leave 8 ounces shy. So I'm going to go ahead and add now, I've got some sodium hypochlorite here, okay, and this is actually 12% pool sanitation fluid, sodium hypochlorite or bleach, and I'm going to go ahead and bring this container up right now to the full 128 ounces. You can see it just barely changed the color here on the water, just barely made it yellow. You can see there's some sodium hypochlorite in it. And then we're going to use our green wash here. Our green wash is a surfactant, which is a fancy way of saying soap. Surfactants take and help fluids like this penetrate into the surface by breaking the surface tension. Also to our green wash is a bleach booster. It boosts the oxidizing reaction, which is what helps to sanitize the surface. So green wash is not only a surfactant, but it is also too a booster for sodium hypochlorite. So I have two ounces, very little amount here, of, of the actual green wash I'm going to pour in here. And you'll see it'll change the color just a little bit more. Now I have basically just a little bit more than a gallon of sanitizing solution. Now you can go ahead and get one of these trigger sprayers from your box store, grocery store here, unscrew the top, go ahead and pour this product into here because now you have a gallon of sanitizing solution. This is good for cleaning your countertops in your kitchen and in your bathroom, doing your shower, for mold and mildew even as well. And now you're able to just spray it on a surface, wipe that surface real well with a microfiber towel or a terry cloth towel. Paper towels work good too. Always remember to kind of cup the edge and get underneath on, on the edge of the surface too as well and now you've sanitized that surface. Now the CDC likes that product to stay on there for 10 minutes so get it pretty wet the first time you do it but then throughout the day you can just go in and just spray a little bit on your flat surfaces and let it go ahead and just dry onto the surface to keep those surfaces sanitized. Alright if you'd like to get some of our green wash our website address is right here on the bottom of the screen and again, I'm AC Lockyer with Softwash Systems showing you how to mix up your own CDC prescribed sanitation solution.